Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Masquerada. And I'm really enjoying the first part of this game, guys, and I'm glad you all enjoyed the first episode. And we are here in the Pale Isle, I believe, on our way to the White Spire. And we're just kind of exploring, seeing if there's anything that we may have missed. Speaking of that, I wanted to let you guys know, um, I've had requests in the comments to go ahead and read all the lore entries. And I've looked at some of these lore entries, guys, and I can't do it. I will butcher the pronunciation of so much stuff. I have too much respect for the written word to crucify it here in front of you guys. So I'm probably not going to read the, the lore. That, however, that just gives you guys more incentive to go ahead and uh, check out the game for yourselves, you know? And I think we're pretty much free here. No new lore entries or anything else, so... We'll head up here and see what we find. Hey, aren't you forgetting something, scum? I didn't want to find Oi, you. I'm talking to... Of all the souls... We've been spotted. I never thought I'd get to see you again. What do you want? What do I want? I want you to have a taste of what we went through because of you. Oh, that escalated quickly. Oh, the mouse has tea. Let's yep. see how well he bites. Ready yourselves. Nibble, nibble. Oh, he bites a lot harder than I do. I hey, did that. Oh. I think that was supposed to happen. Looks like Andre the Giant. The man who lives like a coward deserves to suffer like one. Valencio! Whoa! I... Sir, I swear, I'll... If... Slap him again. I didn't... Thank you. Attention. We are in the middle of a war, Senencio. Do you understand that? I didn't... Do you understand? Yes, sir. Your masquerine is to be used against the mask runners of the city, not against its citizens, exiled or not. You have demonstrated a sore lack of understanding with regards to the utilization of masquerines. You will unbind from your masquerine and have the privilege of its company revoked for a period of ten days. Oh, wow. Keep me waiting any longer and it'll be 30. <laughs> Simple as that, huh? Go. You lucky bastard. If I hadn't been out for a drink... At this time, someone's picked up some habits. Why nice flex. Here, Cicero? A man with your reputation must be either mad or desperate to return to the city. Here, read it. Summoned back to Umber at the request of the Verone, your exile will be revoked and you will be granted a grand sum of... So what? You're back for the money? Probably doesn't hurt. Mad or desperate. And do you know for what reason you've been called back? If you can decipher anything from this cryptic mess, please. You need to see a Vestus. Uh, accompany me? I think it'd be a good time to hear what's been going on. You mean it'd be good to have a bodyguard? Well, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> Come on. He's in the White Spire. Hey. Tristan and Binding. So that's weird. I thought the mask were kind of like unique pieces, but I guess it's it's like a tool. Like anything else. I'll, I'll go ahead and look at some of these that interest me. The first step that any masquerada needs to take before being t able to use a masquerine is a process called binding. It is a simple task. All it takes is a mere imagining of a connection between the masquerada to be and the masquerine, and it's done. The consequences, however, are far from simple. Should a masquerada perish while bonded to a masquerine, the masquerine itself fades away into a fine dust that blows away on invisible winds. 
but can you bind a, like could you could I take that guy's mask and put it on and bind myself to it probably not I would imagine oh she did not make it out of the quiet order oh my condolences I should try and go ahead and read the conversations though for sure Hmm. So that's what we'll do as a compromise. We'll read any of the lore that really interests me. The Valencio? No. Oh, that's a pretty tree. I like the blue leaves. See, it's stuff like that, the visual aspects of a world and world building that really fascinate me. That, that shows a lot of thought and a lot of love toward the game, which I appreciate. The city seems very, like, tidy, I guess. We got the little villas on the roofs and... And a marketplace. <laughs> Would you look at that? Huh. Elysian stones. I'd have expected the war to curb trade a little. It did. For about three months. Until the countries across the belt realized how much they missed our work. And so they decide to send their traders to a country steeped in civil war. It isn't that bad. The bloodiest sons have all set. We're just cleaning up what's left of it. In fact, I think in a few years it'll be completely over. Uh, let's keep going. Hmm. Must be some rare stones that apparently the people here are good at working with. Boy, impressive jewelry for a lady. No, I think I'm good. And nothing else nearby. I want it! We don't care. You're at least a week away from another rotation. I'm the best firebrand here, and you know it. Get lost, Travis. You know there's no way you're going to get it. Were they arguing over a masquerine? Aren't there enough to go around? <sighs> the war. Ever since your brother gave out all those masquerines to the mask runners, the death toll on both sides has been great. And you've been losing masquerines. So long as they sit upon a dying face, to the dust they go. And now, the city is running out of them. Everyone's feeling it. The guilds, the mask runners, the registry. The Vegilis even suspect that in the next 50 years or so, there'll be fewer than a hundred masquerines left. But there were thousands before. Surely five years... Five years have crippled this country, Cicero. I am sorry. That did not come out as smoothly as I had intended. You're tired. I understand. You would, wouldn't you? Well, let's not keep a Vestus waiting. So is is Cicero a twin? Was it his brother that we played in the prologue who grabbed all those masquerines and I guess maybe handed them out to these mask runners? Did he kind of have to deal with the consequences of it and got exiled? Interesting. Kind of curious to see where this goes. The White Spire Courtyard. Ooh, training practice. And they're fighting uh, traditional Florentine, which is a long sword with a dagger. If I fall in, would you rescue me? Anyone daft enough to fall in isn't deserving of a rescue, if you ask me. Ouch. <laughs> Was it left? No. Impossible. But if I struck upwards... The media. Beg pardon? The media are methods practiced by the masquerade to better harness the powers of the masquerines. Oh. Okay. And a lot of words I can't pronounce. Let's see what what's on the other side. I would bet money that this is the place that I guess Cicero's brother attacked. What are they up to? You don't recognize it. That's Gavar's Caprice. I'm surprised it took you so long to spot it. Hmm. Stop it. 
Okay, didn't really understand that. And can we go... Nope. Gotta head this way. The music's the same, so this probably is the same place. The White Spire. And gotta keep checking for all the places. Let's grab all the lore I won't read. <laughs> is the interior... It is indeed bigger on the inside. Oh, yay for Doctor Who references. Kitty! You don't suppose Gavar's been pardoned? Why else would he be here? Frankly, even if I were pardoned, I'd stay in the fields. Have you ever met Gavali Barmaid? Saucy. Ugh. Troop talk. Doesn't look like there's any lore, so... Saucy barmaids, eh? The registry. So, any idea why the old man wants to see me? Not a very solid one. One of the Regenti has gone missing. And, uh... And? And these walls should not be privy to this conversation. All the palace intrigues. Let's actually, can we check on the, re let's see what the registry is? Lore, culture, factions. Oh. There we go. That is a long reading, but this is the government. This is kind of what we're dealing with. Once we had been called heretics. We were cast out from our lands. Darcinated, or deracinated. I've never seen that word before. Labeled traitors and blasphemers. We were the other, the alien, the outcast. Yet we were but individuals. We were of many, but were of no banner. We had myriad voices, but no clarion to lead us. We were scattered, and we walked blinded by a foul light. But now have we have begun to weave the tapestry that will bind us, begin to cultivate the soils that are to serve as the base of our civilization, a new civilization that will rip the yokes of our heritage off our backs and bury them underfoot. We are a new people, of a new nation, now, and we will relish this freedom with guiltless ecstasy. We are our own leaders. Our laws will be fashioned under the hammers of our wills and not by divine words. Our mores will be shaped by sophists and sages and not by priests and prophets. We are united now. We are a people. An excerpt from the speech delivered by the very first Valrone, Ormius Frigius, at the founding of the registry during the 10th Masura of the first Cantisil. Ugh. A vast majority of Ombri takes the registry, the country's government, for granted. And I'm not saying this simply because I am, or at least was, a member of it. The registry's duties in the city aren't all-encompassing. Many of the city's cogs are kept turning by the Samora, which has led to the proliferation of the opinion that they are responsible for little. This, however, is inaccurate. The modern Ombrium simply does not see the waves that the registry makes, or the forces that it reckons with. The main responsibility of the Registry is handling international affairs. To anyone on the streets of Ombre, that concept might ring foreign. It's easy to forget, living in the city, that there exists an entire world out there, with other peoples and other nations and other societies. We are too concerned with surviving to think of the worlds across the Midnight Belt or beyond the Echoing Plains. Unfortunately, the reverse cannot be said. Ombre, with its military power and flourishing cultural and economic landscapes, is a land upon which many other countries gaze. These gazes are often awesome in nature, but is easy for admiration to turn into lust. The Registry has concocted a great many ways to handle any international relations that begin to sour, the list of which is too long to go into detail, and these measures have allowed the tiny country to survive. So they are not above slitting some throats to get the job done. Interesting. That's not really surprising. Oh, this looks familiar. I think this is where we came in. Would you cover my shift? I need to leave a little early. Picking up ingredients for lunch? You know how it is with the Seracusine. Oh, they're 
Some of them are talking too fast. Curses. This guy looks cool. It's neat, I'll give them that much. Hm, it's cold. Too much stone, not enough gold. Hmm, he has a very unique armor design compared to everyone else that we've seen. We've got, like, the courtesans here in their nice, um, dresses and such, and then you have your guards. Fascinating, isn't it? Such mastery over the form. They're admiring the paintings. And we're gonna keep doing what we did before, just make sure that all bases have been covered. Hmm. Now, I wonder if we have to head back to that area where we uh, got all the Masquerada in the prologue. Can't go through there. I think that's actually where we got it. We're heading up to where our guy got owned. The White Spire Upper Hallway. Yeah, this is where we ran into that guy and he hightailed it and we chased after him. There's the pathway. There's where we have to go. The prospect of going out for another diplomatic mission is just awful. Maybe one day someone will find a way to get masquerines working beyond the stones. Well, until that day comes, consider me cursed to be an ambassador. So the masquerines don't work beyond a certain point? Here we are. Tell me he's changed. At least a little. Have fun finding out. <sighs> now, who are we talking to? The Varone's office. Nice office, holy crap. Very luxurious. Oh! That's the guy who ran off, wasn't it? In all the twenty years that I have spent perched upon the spire, not once have I seen my city so broken. Tristan was telling me the war's almost over. Over? When does a war end? When the trumpets of peace sound? When the mask runners are dead in the gutter? No. It ends when it ceases to echo through every street, or shadow every face. It is over when the halls that it has emptied fill once again. This war is far from over. I trust the past five years have treated you well? They've been... kind. Kind? Is that what you call those years you spent throwing all your coin at barkeeps, fleeing the grip of sobriety? How... The Cavalli Fields may be located across the belt, but it's still within the Registry's vigil. And so is plagued by your rats. Why am I here? The answer is all around you. You've been to the docks. You've walked through the grounds. How many portieri enjoy the company of masquerines? Tristan told me. The city's losing too many of them. We must learn the secrets of the masquerines. Learn how to stop them from disintegrating upon their wearer's death. This is a job better suited for the Vigilist. Widen your mind, Cicero. You think I called you here to bury your nose in dusty tomes? You are not the first that I've spoken to of these matters. A regenti of mine was tasked three months ago to explore the annals we have on masquerines. You are here to find Those him. are really modern looking files. How long has he been missing? He missed tending in his last report due 20 days ago. And you've sent no one else? <sighs> Ophina and Corvus were sent to investigate. What did they find? That their songs were shorter than they expected. Both of them? Ophina was found hanging in her room. Hands tied, wrists slit. Corvus's body was not so fortunate. Whoever it was had resources, wit, knowledge, finesse. To pity the two before you managed to find nothing apart from their own deaths. So you called me back to feed me to the dogs? No, I called you back to find my regenti. If the canines come at you while you're at it, well... You're a fool if you think I'll do this. I'll think much more than that if you turn away. Especially if you read the case notes. You might find the name of my Regenti interesting. Razatov. You two were acquainted, 
were you not? Anything else? Only that you are to breathe no word whatsoever to anyone else regarding this case. Everything else you need is in those notes. Arm yourself in the Hall of Bearings, then see what you can find. His office in the East Wing is probably a good place to start. That is all. I'm getting a really, like, Tywin Lannister, Tyrion Lannister vibe from these two. Especially from him, man. I could almost hear Charles Dance's voice. The Varon. The Varon of Ombre is perhaps the most famous, if not respected, figure in the nation. As the leader of the registry, with an abode sitting at the tip of the White Spire, the entire city falls under their gaze. The influence that a Varone had over the city was, in times past, unparalleled, and with the rise to power of the guilds, that influence has begun to wane somewhat. Which was a, a theme in different parts of Venetian society, so that makes sense. I like that office, man. <laughs> Can I get one? New chapter reached. Case notes updated. We have case notes? This is Phoenix, right? Missing Persons Investigation. Name of Subject, Razatov Azrus, 39. Regenti, date of report, 29th Pika, 407, Illinois. <laughs> um, Expectore attached, Ofina Triana. Details on the... Holy crap, that is a pretty long case file. Well, we might as well go ahead and check up on it, since we've already cleared that first chapter. On the 39th of Ruvida, 407, Reginti Razatov Azeroth, or Azrus, was tasked with elucidating the methods through which masquerines were created. He was appointed this task by Verone Avestis Alirmi. Well, that's foreboding. On the 43rd of Ruvida, he summoned his first update to the Verone concerning his findings. In it, he writes that he believed that for something as core to the dementicate civilization as masquerines, there must be anthropological evidence regarding their existence and creation that he can find through detailed study of that word history. He continues on writing that a visit to Konoses, or Senza must be paid. He is sure to find what he needs there. A loose sheet found within his report reveals what specifically he was in search for. Books that talk about the... Let's go ahead and dementicate... Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. The Dementicate and power, about wielding immense power. Creating power, using it to expand, or anything that even remotely smacks of strength or supremacy. These are good places to start. I will head to Konosedza tomorrow to speak to Kairi. Kairi has said that Razatov never approached her for assistance. None of the Vegilis that I spoke to have seen him around in the past month. He must have either done his work in secrecy or never followed up on his original plan. Tomorrow I intend on returning to the Kona Sesna, or Sedenza. Following his leads will bring me closer to his current whereabouts, I'm certain. Date of update, 38th. So this is an eight-day um, span. Note, the investigation has been handed over to Inspectore Corvus. Um, Inspectore Ofina's corpse was found in her room at approximately dusk on the 33rd, three days later. The investigation has taken a darker turn, ages forbid, and is growing steadily. Avestis has told me to focus on Razatov and to do so quietly. Whoever did that to Ofina is still out there. I do not know how well I will sleep at night knowing these halls are not safe, but the Verone has reminded me that if someone was out to stop us from finding Razatov, it must mean that he knows something. Avestis believes that finding the Regenti is of higher priority than identifying Ofina's murderer. If I could find both along the way, that'd be ideal, but ages. I'll be the first to admit that I might have been put in waters too deep for me. I've spoken to Lucia and warned her about the treachery. If Ofina was a target that none of us are safe. Darius, Pasha, and Riva aren't in the city at the moment, and for their sakes, I'm glad. Damn it. Where is Cicero when you need him? No matter. I must focus. Tomorrow I will check Razatov's office. I think it's a prudent place to begin. At least it isn't my poor friend's bloody footprints. Are in my poor friend's bloody footprints. I hope she gets a good song. 39th. Nothing. His office clearly doubled as his living quarters. He'd hold himself up here for quite some time, or at least he planned to, but there's nothing amiss. Then again, something 
didn't quite feel right when I was in there. In fact, something hasn't quite felt right since I started this investigation. Silent songs. The others always mocked my superstitious ways, but how can I deny a feeling so strong? I cannot put my finger on it, but I can swear by the ages that I am being watched. If anything's to happen to me, and if this case somehow falls into someone else's hands, know that I advise caution. Lucia, if that next person is you, Songs, get out of here while you still can. Tomorrow I plan to figure out what is exactly that has been causing the hairs on my neck to rise. Once I deal with that, I believe I'll be better to foc be able to better focus on the task at hand. The remain of Inspector or Inspectore Corvus's body has been found in his personal rever residence in the Dimway. The investigation has pending action, so this was two days later, and then one day later, a letter has been sent to the Kelvali Field, summoning former Inspectore Cicero Gavar back to the Ombre, and the investigation was handed over to the former Inspectore. Welcome back. <laughs> Such a nice message. Well, let's uh, keep going here. Survive the trial, I see. Barely. The bastard still as oily as ever. Careful. Walls have ears. So, was I right? This is about the Regenti that's gone missing. Razatov. That's the one? Didn't he save my life? Yes. Hephaestus used that against me. Oh, okay. Hmm. So now you're on the case, too. Any advice, then? Just... Uh, try not to die. We've lost enough inspiratories as is. <laughs> you can bet on that. Now, I need to read these notes first. Whoops. Then to the Hall of Bearings for a masquerine. Still have time to accompany an old friend? Why not? Well, at least we got the reading out of the way. And an uh, entry on Razatov. Ooh. Think we can... Oh, good lord. Okay. Well... I do want to find out how exactly Restoff saved our boy's life here, but I guess we'll go ahead and read that at the beginning of the next episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.